What's up guys? So first recipe for a quick snack, if you're just coming home or if you're at work or whatever you might need, give me a couple of variations on that and you can kind of determine what you need to do. Ingredients basically here, non-fat Greek yogurt. This is from Target, about 100 calories per serving. It has some frozen, frozen strawberries, about 50 calories per serving from Aldi. I'll show you how that works. Sweetener of choice, I use sugar-free syrup. You can also get this with a little bit of sweetener. Just be careful that the it's not a lot of added sugar on it. But this low to zero calorie sweetener, I use sugar-free syrup is what I use. You can use stevia or any other type. And then for myself, I toast up some bread, throw it in there. I'm gonna show you how that works. You don't need to have this. You can eat sans bread if you need to, but let's see how it goes. Right. Onward to preparation. Okay, so first thing I do, I'll go ahead and take these strawberries and I weigh them out. You can get any type of generic scale if you need to. It's great to have an idea of what you're actually consuming. So for here, for serving is about 140 grams. So if I wanted to have an idea, I know what that looks like. So using the scale, first things first, basics. You have your apparatus on there. You zero out your scale. I like to just kind of put a portion on there that I know. Looks like plenty to me. I know it's 258 grams. So then I take that for myself, chunk it in the microwave, right above over here, get that started. And then as I continue, I have a prep bowl here. Same idea, zero it out. For me, don't have to. And then get my Greek yogurt. Make sure I have a spoon as accessible. So zero it out. And I just kind of put in what I feel like you can drain out that extra liquid if you want to. Would be close. You know, I know two servings is 340 grams, which is mid 20s for protein or mid 30s for protein. Could be 36 grams of protein. So it's not exact. Let's kind of get it within the ballpark. So we're at 348 grams. Easy there. Easy money, calorie free sugar, uh, or sugar free syrup. Yeah, that might be a lot to you, but I like it. And for me, to add a little bit of texture, I will just whip it in. Um, you can mute your phone if you don't like that sound. My poor computer, I apologize. It's not meant to be an ASMR. At all. So, I whip it, gets a little bit of air in there because the strawberries are still going. Get a pretty good indication. It's good for me there. I don't like to have my microwave beeping, so it's muted. And then, as you can see there, strawberries, still a little frozen, still a little frozen. Not too shabby. So, put them back in there for about another minute. That was two minutes to start. Now we'll continue to whip this up a little bit more. And then we'll move over here. So air fryer is what I use. Put it 320 degrees for myself. Turn it on, hit the button. And I'll go ahead and get me so loud. So loud. I will get my keto buns out. As I finish there, you don't have to use it with the keto buns. So I get two, 70 calories a piece per two. So that's 140, 140 calories goes in. I just get that in there, lightly toast it. Clean as you go, you know. So put the yogurt away, get that going. Step back here again, back over. Just go. Then Strawberries appear to be done. A little runny. You can always drain that out. I don't mind it. I chunk it in. Full go. So as it adds in, kind of whip it back up a little bit. Now, if you're at work, this can be a little bit difficult. What I would recommend is letting the strawberries cool down and putting them back in the fridge. You don't want to add them in to your Greek yogurt, let it get a little bit runny. So what I'm gonna do now as the bread toasts, 
I'm going to throw these in the freezer and we'll get back to almost the finished product. So it's been a few minutes. This is the keto bread, toasted up a little bit, broken up a little bit. Now it's cooled off. So I can go ahead and add that to my strawberries. Now, <clears throat> best thing for those strawberries, so you don't have to microwave them, is just have them thawing out in the refrigerator. So give it a couple days, thaw them out of the refrigerator or set them out on your countertop. Additional heat to the yogurt can, can make it a little bit runny, but you can see that. It's still a little runny, but not too bad. Not too bad of a consistency. So you can have it like this as is. And then I'll put the macros um, somewhere on the screen so you can kind of see what those are if you're interested in that. Very low calorie, higher volume food based off of that stuff. And then I will go ahead and just add these crumbs, breadcrumbs, toast, going at me, bits and pieces into it. And then I can just stir that in. And then you get a nice blend of textures here with the toast and the strawberries. And it gives a strawberry shortcake type of vibe for sure. So different macros for this as opposed to the ones before. I'll also post those somewhere on the screen. And if you all have any questions, you can add anything to this. Any type of fruit works as well. You can use any type of toast. Just recommend it low calorie. If you are going to do that, you don't have to. I just add it for a little bit additional fiber, a little bit additional texture and volume. Kind of brings it all together into this giant massive thing. So any fruit, any sweetener you'd like, just stay away from the higher fruits. I've done it, I've tried it with pineapple, it's pretty good, but blueberries, raspberries, any of those berry mixes you can add to it, or go ahead and get a flavored yogurt if you'd rather do that and add some fruit to it. Not a big deal, just be careful with those additional sugars. Let me know if you have any questions below. All right, see y'all next time.